Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a Class C toy hauler. That's right, folks. We just became a Thor Outlaw dealer here in Ocala, and we're reviewing our very first Class C toy hauler. Super excited to show you. This is the 2021 Thor Outlaw Model 29J. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this outlaw and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World's Only Channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be looking at this Thor Outlaw Class C toy hauler. You know, we just became an outlaw dealer. We're killing it with motorhome sales in Ocala. And so all the manufacturers want to come here so we can review their brands. Super excited to show you guys. I know a lot of people have been asking me about it. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi hey, everyone. Hey Andrea, how's it going? It's going good, I'm excited. You know, this is the first time ever that we've actually got to review a toy hauler. Toy hauler motorhome? Yes. Great. Model is 29J, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet, one inch. This is the Thor Outlaw, best in class. Only in class, it's the only class C toy hauler, so it's the best. Uh, I absolutely love it, I love the name. It just fits what it is. It is powered on an E450 chassis. This, since this is a 2021, this has the new Ford V8 engine. It's a 7.3 liter V8 with the Godzilla engine. Godzilla! And it has 350 horsepower and all that good stuff. What's that? Yeah, how you can tell is, remember how you tell everybody? Oh yeah, right there. How you can tell if it's a newer engine and chassis is with this piece of plastic right there being lower. And then also you can tell on the inside. Right there, look at these ones, right? We got the hand cook tires. These are the ALT 225-75R16. I love that. And then also new for 2021, you do have side cameras in it. Nice. So you have cameras left and right blinker and reverse. I love that. Coming down the side, big, big upgrade that nobody's gonna tell you about. See how the motorhome's white and blue and the cab's white and blue? For, for a couple years, Thor, uh, was doing this HD Max cream color. I remember. I, you With know, the black I, and red. Right, and, and well, it was like a cream tan, and I'm like, what are you doing? Because it didn't match the cab. I love how it's all, I love the simplicity of one color. Right there, we got a little bit of storage. We do have a nice, uh, I like the white awning, because it goes with the white motorhome. Check out that nice big awning, Andrea. Nice power awning with LED lights. I love that. Also check this out. You have frameless windows, which looks very nice. Right here, this is where you fill your potable water. Potable, potable. I wonder what these are for. Probably for your dog. Probably. Interesting, very cool. Electrical outlet. Yep, electrical outlet right there. And then right here, we do have a TV on the outside. Look, with sound bar, I love that. What's that? Oh, uh, that's just going to be a little bit of storage, <laughs> and I don't have the key for it. But it does feel really nice under the awning. And then right here, we got a little bit of storage right there. Very nice, good for a fold-up table. And then right here, we do have a propane quick connect. Coming around the back, no ladder to get up on the roof. Wamp, wamp. Obviously, because it's a toy hauler. Well, hang on. Yeah, no ladder to get up on the roof. It is a one-piece TPO roof with a 13.5 air conditioning unit, but check this out. Well, what about the, why don't we talk about the hitch really super fast, yes. it's right there. 8,000 pound hitch. Now this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You can tow 5,000 pounds. If you, you gotta be careful with how much you load up in here, if you load up some heavy bikes or whatever, but you can go a little bit over 5,000 pounds, just always be careful. And then you do have a backup camera right there. Also, Andrea, look, it even has an awning Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is cool. And I love this. Oh, wow. Watch this. You got that by yourself? I do. This is so super easy to set up. Oh, man. I just ripped my shorts. Dang on it. Yeah, that corner's sharp right there. All right, you just pop it like that. 
That's it. And it's on, yeah, and it's on wheels. As you can see, you would just yep. pull it back. Now look, and it locks into place. We're camping right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice little sun deck. Very cool, huh? I absolutely love this. We'll show you more of this on the inside. Right here, do you know what this is? What is that? So this is to help with fumes if you put a gasoline oh. bike inside. So it helps aerate. Look at that one's right. Not only that, this motorhome, even though it's a 30 amp class C, has a second AC unit, like a little uh, window unit for the garage area to help That's keep awesome. it cool. We got storage right there. And you got your inverter in there. Yep. And what is that? The transfer? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right here, look at this. It's a place for your stinky slinky. I nice. love that. Nice. Right here is your fuel fill up, city water connection, 30 amp power right here. Solar? Uh, no, TV, oh. outdoor shower, <gasps> instant hot tankless water wow. heater. I love how they continued the graphics. Very, very big fan of that. That is your black tank flush right there. Here. What bay? Oh, uh, no. no, just a tank. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's where you dump your black and gray tank right there. Right here, you have a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. And then right here is your propane tank. Now, Andrea, I don't know the propane tank size, but we'll have all the sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Have you ever seen one of these? Yes. Okay. Remember, we used to have them at Leo's. Yeah. Well, check this out. We need to get the cargo. Ca oh, wow. Interesting. Huh? It, very interesting. They really did change. Where's okay. the cargo? Okay. Should be on the door. Should be on, on. Yeah. Now, Matt, the slot is the slide in. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, guys. I I I didn't even know. Here's the bathroom. And then of course, because you have the garage, you don't have a master bedroom, but there, as you can see, there's the bunk. Cargo carrying capacity, 1,635 pounds. Oh, slide outs behind that door, slide out button. I can't believe that. Like, it's just really, really spacey. Yep. And I love that it has opposing sofas. Now all the slide outs are coming out, do me a huge favor, y'all. Please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love about the Thor Outlaw and three things you dislike about it. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more it helps us in the manufacturers and, and the more it helps the manufacturers want to do business with us here so we can promote more units online. And we absolutely love that. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started up here in the cockpit area. Wow, look at the seats, Andrea. Look, the seats, the, the seats match the sofa. They do. It's like a black leather with the red. Look at this. Yeah. Look with the red. Oh man, I really like that. That's awesome. And it's comfortable. It's a new V8. Very nice, very comfortable. You got your carbon fiber. I love this. You got your left camera. You got your right camera and it goes in reverse. Very nice. Andrea, do you want to sit my co-captain seat? Yes. Oh, now Matt, this sounds lovely. It does or oh, does it? Does it? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Yeah, it's very comfy. Very comfortable. Typical yes. E Series chassis. Oh. Very, very nice. And we are going to leave this AC on because Andre, it is shaking and baking, ain't it? <laughs> cool. For sure. Oh, and you got Series XM radio, which is nice. So. Over the bunk over the cab is nice. You got a cubby there, USB, privacy yep. curtain. Cool. The bunk over the cab does hold 500 pounds. And look how big it is. And then you got your TV right there. It does swing out. You got those booster seats. Do these seats swivel or no? You have a max air fan right there. Oh man, the seats do swivel. Oh wow. That one's going to be tough because yeah. it's right against that, but that one will be nice. That is crazy. Swivel seats, TV, max air fan right there. And then in the living room, I love this. Well, hang on. Let, let's answer that question. Does it have jacks? I don't think it does. Oh my gosh. It has auto leveling jacks, Andrea. That is so cool. I didn't even know that. Awesome. Here's something that I love. Double sofa. 
people don't need dinettes. You can have a dinette. There's fold-up tables that make it to dinettes, but people don't need it. I love how you have double sofas. It looks cool. This one jackknifes down. Then we have another sofa right here. This one jackknifes down. Very nice. I love that. What do you, let's say you. Um, you know what? I think it's very interesting the color they went with. I have not seen the dark colors. Um, so I think it's interesting. What about the, yeah, uh, like I'm the not a black, fan, white, and red? I'm not a fan of the balances. Oh, I, I but think But I cool. do like that they have shades in here. Uh-huh. And, yeah, and the cabin, cabinetry is nice. Yes. I like the color that it's light. Yep, it's light and matted. And they have uh, bigger cabinets over here. Yep. We got some bling. Yes, that's great. Very cool. We got another cabinet up here. Very nice. And Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Oh, look at this. There's I, another TV. Oh, I was going to show that. Did I spoil it? Yes. Sorry. It's now but time. But look, guys. Very cool. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $132,450 MSRP. Sale price. We have it 25% off to $99,995. That is a phenomenal price. But Andrea, yes, I can get you an even better price than that. Absolutely. Tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com again. You can get official Matt's RV review sticker, bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. I noticed, Matt, I like that there's no vents in the floor as well. Very nice. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is really interesting because there's a TV right here. It does not come out. Uh-huh. But that's interesting, two TVs. Double TVs, well, yeah. for, for the race. I'm gonna go over here since the refrigerator's here. Got a nice residential refrigerator. Two-way fridge, like yep. A two -way. Got a drawer at the bottom. And over here we got the kitchen. Nice cabinetry, adjustable, adjustable. shelf. Yes. We got a, oh, I'm glad there's a shade there. Yes. I like having windows in the kitchen. That's important to me. Very nice. Interesting, I, I haven't seen dark uh, countertop like this. So yeah. that's pretty interesting. It's very, very different different yes. clientele they're trying to market to. Nice sure. big sink, got the extension, and if you run out of counter space, nice you got the top. extension. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Here, and you know what? Is this a different color? It is. Look, check this out. This is a different color than the cabinet. I don't think so. No, no, Are it's because sure? the light is hitting it differently. I'm positive. Uh, let me see. I'm, I'm positive. Are you sure? Because it looks like percent. it's grayer. Nope, thousand okay. percent positive. It's because you, s you see a light. Oh, yeah. okay. And you, that's very small <laughs> for yep. a trash can. You got, got two and a half drawers. Yep. And we have a convection microwave. Awesome. Very nice. And then we got a cabinet up here. Uh huh. Three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Very nice. nice. And you get a Furion. Is it a Furion? No. Yes. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's oh, not an oven. Oh, I thought that was an oven. Wow, that tricked me, guys. Yeah, it's a Furion stovetop. Wow. With oven, with oven looking drawers. <laughs> that's crazy. And then show those. Okay, so right here, you have a wardrobe or a pantry. Yep. Adjustable shelves. You got two drawers here. Very nice. And then right here next to it, same thing. Oh, look, you get a trash can. That's an $83 trash can. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and two more drawers. Very nice. Awesome. Over here in the bathroom. Wow. Nice shower. Big step up for the shower, though, but, but, a, but a nice shower. I like the door. I like the radius. Really big, really nice, Gotta and everything. That's right. Show that cabinetry. I like that it's light, you know? Yeah, light and bright and That's airy. That's a big cabinet. Uh-huh. Cute little modern sink. And I like that there's counter space in here. Just nice all the way around. And you got shelves. All right, it's now time for the toilet test. Let's see. Doesn't look promising. 
Uh oh. Got the swinging feet. Porcelain. Oh, but I like that bear for impact. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's not a prime pooping position because it's obviously elevated. But if you're taller than five six, you won't have a problem. But I mean, I, I'm I'm willing to make this work for how big the shower is. Yeah. Cool. Let's see the garage. Yep. All oh, right. Man. Look at this. Comes with your little, um, what are these called again, Matt? The things in the floor? I always forget. D-rings. D-rings. Yep. Look at this. I absolutely love this. This is awesome. I love this back patio. And you have a, a screen right there. Yep. That you can pull closed. Yep. You got this right here. Looks like you can make like a little office if you bring like a chair with you. The D-rings so you can bring your bikes or golf carts or whatever. Very nice. You got a TV right there. It's just like a little wet bar for your uh, beverages. Speakers on the outside. Another vent. Thousand pound cargo carrying capacity in the back. There is that air conditioner we were talking about. Yep, side mount air conditioner. Got an opening for a fan. And here you have some cabinetry. Very nice. I am very, nice. very nice. All right. Now, I, I'm going to go this way. I want to see this bed drop down from that angle. Okay. All right. Now we just need to find the button. Do you think it's up front? Or you think it's right there on the side where the slide is? Where could the button be? Oh, here it is. Oh, Andrea. That table goes outside. Oh. Okay. I don't know how it comes down. Yeah, you gotta unhook it and clips. pull it through. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So we're not gonna put the bed all the way down. Well, we're gonna let you see. Yeah, very nice, queen size bed. What's the max, 500? Yeah, 500 pounds. You got a ladder, cause it does, it does go down a little bit lower. I, I wouldn't need a ladder, I could climb up it, but really, really cool and awesome. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we like about it. Okay, well, one, we're standing in. I love the toy hauler part. I think this is so, super cool and badass. I think I love, I, I love the patio. I love the garage area. I love absolutely everything. I want to make a comment too. Yes. Adding to that, the fact that the bed is right here yep. and say it was a cool night and you wanted this open and you close your screen and yep. you have a beautiful view, that's yeah. fantastic. Or you can fish off the dock. Yeah, you know, that's, it's great. It's awesome. So that's one. Andrea, two, what's something you love about it? Oh, I don't like crawling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, what I do like about it is I like the floor plan. I the like double the fact sofa. that you have opposing sofas. Yep. And that you have the option of just setting up your tables right here. Because here's the deal. Most of the time, speed. most of the time we're eating outside. Exactly. Or we're going out to restaurants. Very rarely are, if it's raining, if it's raining, we're going out to a restaurant. But for the rare occasion, you can put the table there. And it's just awesome. Yes. I, I, and, and a lot of times the dinettes, you know, if, if you're bigger people, right? You know, you know what I'm saying, gravy? You know, <laughs> uh, it's just hard to eat around that dinette. So that's two. And then three. Oh, you got a third? I do. Go ahead. Uh, what I really like is, oh, although I'm not a fan of the color of the countertop, I like that it gives you the extension and that you have some counter space here. I like the window in the kitchen. Uh huh. And I like the way this is set up. Here's what I'm going to, here's what I'm going to add to that. I love the color. I love the black with the red stitching. And listen, I 100% understand, like, look at this. I 100% understand if this isn't your taste, but I love how it's not some people's taste. You know what I'm saying? Right. So many times, so many motorhomes, they just look the same. Exactly. And I love that they're different. Yes. So that's awesome. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, um, I'll go first. I'm just gonna say, I don't know. I mean, there's not too much. I, I honestly don't like this, uh, the shower curtain. 
Well, we'll just say the bathroom. Yeah, I don't I like don't, how high the toilet is. I don't like that. Okay, I mean. I, I feel like the, the more the Nautilus type would have been better on there than that. Yeah, but I, 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 I'm, I'm willing to accept that because of shower size. So first thing's just gonna be the bathroom, right? Small type bathroom, I get that. Second thing I just like about it, a TV there and a TV there. I like, it would have been better if they put a TV elevator right here or a televator right across. So one seat, I don't mind the double TVs, but it would be very nice to have the TV across a boat, you know, instead of everybody having to turn their head sideways. Right. So that's two. And then number three, I mean, there's really not too much not to like about it, you know? Did, did we notice anything on the outside? I don't know a third dislike. I, I don't like the balances in here. I mean, if I, if I was to pick that, I just don't like the patterns. Okay. You know, I just, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Andre just doesn't, I, and, and again, for what you're getting, I mean, this is a pretty well-designed motorhome and I really like it. And what a lot of people don't understand, a lot of times it's hard to find. Oh yeah, you won't see dark colors like and this. With it being such a unique model, this is the best classy toy hauler in the world. It is also the worst classy toy hauler in the world because <laughs> it's the only classy toy hauler in the world. <laughs> but that's it, that's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or check us out online. It is mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. We are interested to see what you guys have to say. This is our first toy hauler review. Let us know what you think. I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are safe. Thank you so much, Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.